Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I am Huma Sufyan. I am a community I'm a manager at Career Naksha and Council of India. Today we have Today we have Kavita Shah with us. A warm welcome to you, ma'am. Welcome to you, ma'am. Thank you. Kavita Shah Kavita is having Shah is experience, experience of more than six more years in travel management and, and consultancy. She holds she a bachelor's degree, degree in commerce, in commerce and has a master having diploma in software, web designing and NLP memory, 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 memory trainer. Always have always been passionate about, about helping, helping people find ways. She has extensive experience of 15 years in grammar and common skills. In three classes, three classes, first classes, subjects secondary level, secondary level, and high school for CPSC and CSC school. Having successfully held an operational and mentorship role in parenting, working as an educator, currently having opportunity to guide and talk to many teens and peers. Passions to be part of the education system and continuous due to learning and emerging trends in different sectors. Upcoming courses and the variety of learning opportunities. Of a drove of a book to her choose career counseling as a profession. She strongly believes that the process of setting the career goal should start from the school level itself, hence creating awareness about the importance of career counseling among children and their parents at an early stage. There is a wider role in shaping what their future. Very true, ma'am. Very true. Uh, that whatever yes, you have said and whatever you have said, think it, it is rightly. Now the whole show is yours. Now the whole show is yours. Thank you, ma'am, for, yes, your, time ma for your time also. Okay, yeah. ma'am. Thank okay, you. Ma yes, thank you, Yuma, for giving me such a lovely introduction. Right, and hello, all friends out there. So today uh, I'm there with a very interesting topic, uh, which is about goal setting demystified. Goal setting. I would like to hear say that we need certain clarification on this topic, right? Uh, we right since childhood we have come across various, you know, life processes, life le learning lessons, where we need to set up goals, right, from childhood, and still the process goes on and on. So when I talk about goals, so what are goals, right? Goals are something which we wish to achieve. We want to become whatever we do or what we wish to do, right? So it is defined as an idea of the future or some desired result which plans and which a person plans and we commit to achieve that. Goals give meaning and purpose to life and it plays a very fundamental role in the development of any individual, right? It makes us feel alive. Now, goal setting is linked to higher motivation, self-esteem, confidence and autonomy. Now, just imagine, you may say that we have certain goals in life. But have we asked ourselves that what are these goals? What is that goal that we would like to achieve? When I say I want to get up early in the morning tomorrow. Or if I say I want to reduce this much kg of weight. Right. So what does the brain do over here? Psychologists say that goal achieving procedure is directly linked with rewiring of your brain. See, once you get a goal in your head, your brain will continue to nudge you about it until you start working towards it or towards achieving it. Right? So, studies in neuroscience tells us that goal setting rewires our brains. By looking at the science of setting goals, how our brains work when it comes to setting an objective, working out how best to tackle it and achieve it. Right? We can discover ways to improve our success rate when it comes to achieving goals. In other words, a little bit of knowledge about how our brain works can help us 
to support the process of achieving our goal now when we think that if i want to get up early in the morning i want to become a doctor or i want to earn this much amount of money or i want to go and travel expedition right so these are some goals which we promise to ourselves so when we speak about these goals when we think about these goals what is the thought process going inside the brain as you see in the figure here in the ppt slide now the frontal lobe is involved in the procedure of problem solving so it helps in defining specifics of what a goal entails and before that right emotions are directly related to the brain see if we say that we want to achieve a certain goal right how is that point coming in our mind there is something in our heart which is linked with the brain and that emotions is called amygdala which evaluates the degree to which the goal is important to you right sometimes children feel that they are they have not got good marks sometimes a person feels that i am failed in this venture right so when that goal is not achieved that emotion is affected or because that emotion is affected that problem solving procedure then starts the amygdala and frontal lobe work together to keep you focused on moving ahead and they try to uh, lead to the achievement of that goal right so while simultaneously causing you to ignore and avoid situations and behaviors that don't for example i am buying a smart watch and i am saying that uh, today i want to walk this many steps right so when i will not walk that many steps immediately that message has been transferred to my brain lobe right and my brain is trying to compel me that yes i have to do this so whether the accomplishment of the goal is done or it's not done it's directly affected or it's related to the mind and brain what does goal setting mean exactly see goals are your first step to achieve great things goals fuel motivation they define a road map towards your dreams right so setting of goals is very much important in every different aspects of our life say it our career or maybe professional life even to achieve a goal for a homemaker is that important to how much it's important to a professional person let's remember swami vivekananda ji he says take up one idea make that one idea your life think of it dream of it live on that idea let the brain muscles nerves every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave other idea alone this is the way to success when we say that you know the journey is very beautiful from goal setting to goal achieving it's it's very different that nowadays due to depression anxiety fear and so many cases which are there due to many other psychological and the external factors it is very much necessary for an individual to understand what definition they give to the goal achievement part right so he has motivated us swami vivekananda ji that arise awake and stop not until the goal is reached that means it is very much correlated to what krishna has told in bhagavad gita that the journey is beautiful till the goal is accomplished you are keep on learning improvising yourself in every walks of life right i'll start with a very beautiful story uh we know bruce lee right he is a man by the name and he had a rose to a stardom in china in 1971 when he landed a very uh, starring role in the big boss a film which later became one of his greater 
martial arts classics now what we don't know is that before 2 years in 1969 he documented his major goal he penned down he wrote a letter to himself right his goal was to become the highest paid oriental star in the states in the us but very uh, it is uh, sadly said that he passed away 4 years later in 1973 but by then he had accomplished his goal he was famous for being focal, focused to the point of obsessive on his primary efforts right and then becoming a great human being and a martial artist and he was the most highly paid compensated asian actor in the us those days so he rightly says a goal is not always meant to be reached it often serves simply as something to aim at sometimes it happens in life that we may not achieve that goal but still then you know what important is we are striving hard towards that achievement towards the point we have aimed at this is the letter he wrote i bruce lee will be the first highest paid oriental superstar in the united states in return i will give the most exciting performances and render the best of quality in capacity of an actor starting 1970 i will achieve the world fa- world fame and from then onward till the end of 1980 i'll have in my possession 10 crore i think dollars 10 million dollars i will live the way i please with and i'll achieve inner harmony and happiness before he died he wrote this letter in 1969 now in this four sentences he has clearly mentioned that he is going to create a history in the world of martial arts in the world of acting right a psychological professor at dominican university in california said that 42 persons are more likely to achieve their goals by just writing them down when we write our goals there are chances of 45 42 person that we may achieve it right so until it's on paper it's just vapor so bruce lee has made us uh, realize that goals are sometimes may not be achieved but still then we have to write down and we have to strive hard in achieving that the journey is very beautiful let us see about dr apj abdul kalam right the missile man of india he says you have to have a goal but you have to have strategies to achieve it as fast as possible that means he is pointing out about procrastination we must not keep on delaying our uh, commitments in achieving those goals right when asked by a student right what are the three guide steps towards achieving goals he said finding an aim in life before you are 20 years old so this is a very lovely message for our teenagers that before 20 years you should have an aim acquire knowledge continuously to reach this goal the procedure is not that oh i want to become mba i want to become a ca a lawyer a doctor or any profession engineer anything you have to keep on learning and that's what our honorable prime minister has been telling us you know that skills are very important these days you know work hard persevere so you can defeat all the problems and succeed a lovely message by apj abdul kalam he said to succeed in your mission you must have single minded devotion to your goal that's what even swami vivekanand ji is telling us that when you are on the path of achieving your goal you are not looking anywhere there are should be no distractions right so i'll just summarize that 
what our goals exactly right that sometimes you may wish to accomplish something that many people dream about but very few people actually accomplish why is it so that only few people can achieve it others cannot or the definition of achieving a goal is reaching to a point right to reaching to an ambition but everybody has its own procedure everybody has its own way of defining the achievement of goal right so here i'll try to first you know simplify what are goals like we saw what is the importance of goal setting so everybody doesn't have the same goals right depending on their interest and skill sets and abilities people who set goals are more likely to work harder and smarter right just imagine a person who is not having any goal in life how is he how 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 will his life be getting up in the morning do his routine core yeah going back to work coming and sleeping there's no hard work no commitment i mean his life is without any interest and our shastra says that ras is the main factor interest is the main factor in any of the thing say taste like maybe the taste aapko khana kitna acha lag raha hai aapko nazare acche lag rahe hai aapko kapde acche lag rahe hai aapko gadget acha lag raha hai har kisi cheez mein hame kuch hum jab bhi kuch paate hai kuch lete hai ya kuch bhi kharidte hai हमारा अगर इंटरेस्ट होता है तो ही हम उस दिशा में आगे बढ़ते हैं राइट सो विदाउट इंटरेस्ट दर इज नथिंग सो वेन एवर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट गोल्स गोल्स आर समथिंग विच आर इक्वेलेंट टू आर स्किल सेट्स एंड आर इंटरेस्ट राइट नाउ देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ गोल्स शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स एंड लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स नाउ शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स helps you stay motivated right you focus on your energy on meeting smaller deadlines and you invest your time wisely for completing that in the immediate future right like today a student says that i am going to complete one chapter right from a particular subject so that is a very short term goal long term goal it means that i may become an actor in the drama school or maybe i'll become ca right maybe i'll become doctor so overnight he is not going to achieve that goal that goal will be achieved in smaller steps right so to achieve all round success we must work towards different type of goals now short term goals and long term goals are in our daily personal life maybe in the career educational life the financial life or the professional life right so long term goals if you say they are more time consuming but have a broader scope now if we see the difference is the strategy the number the timeline the difficulty and the flexibility short term goals are current performance situation long term goals it's a strategic vision if you say in numbers short term goals are you know in multiple categories running simultaneously like tomorrow if i say i'll be getting up early at 5 am in the morning and then uh, at 7 o'clock i'm going for a walk right 9 pm i uh, 9 am i'll be uh, making food 11 am i'll be going to take a lecture so these are my short term goals which i have planned so they are in different 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 multiple categories right while if you talk about long term goals they are limited but have a strategic vision of your life of your career timeline if i say about short term goals it's measured in one day week month or quarters long terms are maybe for few months or maybe years short term goals are very easy to achieve long term goals are difficult as the time span is more 
right and flexibility short term goals are very flexible as they have very closer deadlines they have to be completed fast and long term goals have a broader timeline as they are impact they have they are affected by many external and internal factors right even short term goals are affected by internal factors our emotions are playing a very very important role today right now psychologists have said that our goals need to be smart goals while setting them right so goals should be smart now what does the word smart mean over here right so smart is a framework it's a practice framework s stands for specific m for measurable a for achievable r for relevant and t is for time bound right it they say that smart goal should be specific measurable achievable realistic or relevant and time bound right so an individual who is making a road map to achieve a specific target or goal then he needs to work on this different elements in this framework right with proper planning to execute towards execution so specific means what you have to ask yourself what is your goal measurable means how will you get that back in what uh, time or maybe how you will measure your success what is the proportion attainable means is your goal attainable with the time constraints and the resources do you have those resources realistic or relevant means that is it really attainable or not and time bound means how are you going to reason that in a proper time frame right now if i talk about specific goals as i have earlier said the goal is what is the goal supposed to be accomplished why is it important who are the people involved in the goal where is it located which resources and limits are involved this wh questions make the goal clear and specific measurable is like it should answer the how questions how many days it will take what you will be called after you have achieved it right and how will you achieve that achievable or attainable it means that goals must be realistic achievable and within this abilities of one it means how realistic is the goal is it really realistic to be accomplished then comes relevant it means you should be in control and responsible of achieving your goals right the goal should answer the following questions with a yes is the goal worth achieving it right is it relevant to the current socio eco environment so this all answers and the last is the time bound it means what is the target date what can be done from now say what can be done 6 weeks from now what is the target date in short right so this smart uh, framework right it's a mental tool right way it towards your goal crafting but there is a very important thing you know the main uh, i can say the heart of today's uh, session you know the main gist lies here the growth mindset jaise hum bolte hai na ki goal achieve karna hai ye banna hai ye karna hai wo karna hai but kafi time aaj ke time mein लोग ज़्यादा डिप्रेशन एंगजाइटी फियर यू नो नेगेटिव थिंकिंग और ऑलवेज बीइंग इन दैट फ्रेम ऑफ यू नो या तो दूसरों को कोसेंगे या खुद को कोसेंगे राइट right? और ये सारी चीज़ें जो हो रही है आज वो सिर्फ वीक माइंडसेट पीपल आर नॉट वर्किंग टुवर्ड्स चैलेंजिंग माइंडसेट for challenging mindset you should have positive thought process and that positive thought process comes up with a growth mindset 
now to reach to the growth mindset you have to break the barriers of fixed mindset let us see what's growth mindset and fixed mindset for many educators who aren't i'll say dr carol dweck a stanford university psychology professor he is a popularized person and he has come up with a philosophy called book mindset in 2007 right and there it's been defined what is fixed mindset and what is growth mindset right students believe their skills talents and overall intelligence are fixed traits they may resist learning and trying to improve typically feel embarrassed when not understanding something now if i'll say for example somebody is not achieving that good score or good marks they are always with a fixed time frame and fixed uh, mindset that oh mujhe pehle se itne acche marks ye subject mein nahi aate to shayad mujhe aa hi nahi sakte main kuch bhi nahi kar sakta mujhe to kam hi aayenge अरे मेरा पेपर अच्छा नहीं गया अरे पेपर अच्छा गया तो भी मुझे कम आएंगे राइट दिस ऑल रीजनिंग हैपन्स बिकॉज दे डोंट बिलीव इन देयर स्किल्स एंड टैलेंट्स वो एक फिक्स माइंडसेट में चल रहे हैं पेरेंट्स भी उस फिक्स माइंडसेट में चल रहे हैं वो खुद भी चल रहे हैं और बच्चों को भी इसमें चला रहे हैं और ग्रोथ माइंड में क्या होता है स्टूडेंट्स कैन डेवलप देयर स्किल्स एंड टैलेंट्स टू एफर्ट एंड परसिस्टेंस समटाइम्स वी सी that by birth they don't have that innate potential and skills right but when they are taught those lessons when they are taught those responses and feedback yes they try to develop those skills and they improve by new learning methods right so dr dweck writes you can improve the level and frequency of their achievements this is because mindset plays a very important role in self motivation and goal achievement here is the goal achievement which is linked with the growth mindset right because at times hum kisi bhi goal ki baat kare short term goal ya long term goal kisi bhi aspects uh, of life mein right it is not necessary that we may be achieving those goals right क्यों क्योंकि हम उस गोल को इसीलिए अचीव नहीं कर पाते हम बीच में ही थक जाते हैं हम बीच में ही हार मान लेते हैं या हमें सारी चीज़ें इम्पॉसिबल लगने लगती है राइट right? हमें खुद पे भरोसा नहीं रहता अगर उस टाइम पे अगर हम ग्रोथ माइंडसेट से आगे बढ़ते रहे तो हम गोल्स अचीव कर सकते हैं ग्रोथ माइंड सेट इज बेस्ड ऑन द बिलीफ that your basic qualities are things you can cultivate through your efforts growth mindset ye batata hai ki aapke paas basic qualities hai right from coming from a mother's womb you have certain basic qualities which are god gifted to you right or which may be coming due to the genetics of your parents right but the story doesn't end there if you keep on cultivating continuous efforts you can improvise you can you know go throughout the journey and achieve your goal it says there is power in our thoughts it's all a mind game my friends aapko lagega ki thoughts mein kya power hota hai ab maine kuch abhi aisa bhi padha ki law of attraction ki aajkal jo baat bahut ho rahi hai to law of attraction mein Uh, I'm not against any uh, one or any uh, statements there, but law of attraction. Yes, it works when you have very pure intentions in achieving something which is good for you, good for others, and it's in the context of welfare of the society. As I am a staunch believer in Bhagavad Gita, I feel that. the journey itself is so beautiful that you may find that all the time whatever you thought and whatever you do there should be an equality like it should not be that your thoughts are different from your deeds right 
whatever we are today we are a we are product of our thoughts we may not realize this but we intend to gravitate on the things we think mostly about even if it is in our subconscious that is why we have dreams that is why we have some visualizations right that is why developing a growth mindset is very essential factor in achieving our goals why because a growth mindset will never let you stop any failures any setbacks you will believe that they are my learning lessons in life and you still need to learn to achieve that success right students or people don't flinch even if the odds are not in their favor instead they they make them work harder even whatever let life throw whatever at you you are not going to move away from the path of achieving your goals right so that basic growth mindset is very important for each and every individual and for students right nowadays if you see many other psychologists have worked on this smart goals framework and after some time a psychologist work on a whoop framework right wish hope outcome but uh, wish outcome and uh, i think that's uh, so after that that framework did not you know blend with the growth mindset in achieving goals and the whoop framework came into existence right which gave a more holistic and realistic approach in goal setting so for goal setting holistic approach is necessary holistic is directly or indirectly related to the growth mindset right whoopi framework says first we must have a wish or a hope then we should find a goal that is challenging but it should be realistic right then comes <clears throat> the outcome we must visualize achieving this dream by imagining the outcome with your five senses this is something like the law of attraction so what does this do this attaches the emotion that gives you greater motivation koi aisa emotion rahega jo aapko lagatar motivate karta rahega and you will visualize on that and start dreaming and building that visualization in your mind then comes obstacle now what internal and external obstruction might you encounter people they have told us to write them out in what if statements before while working on this framework in achieving the goal you have to write what if i get this what if if this hurdle is coming through my way right so before any problem is been faced by you or it may come in your way you are ready with the mindset that yes what will i do if this is happening then comes the plan what can you do to overcome your obstacles you will plan out in solution that is what if situation situation with if when situation right then comes identifying and then execution right so woofy in goals goal setting is very very important right if i say uh let's see some examples right now we know that goal setting is really important in achieving our goals in becoming successful or you know reaching to some height or some dream which we have you know kept in our mind so many years and we are striving hard to achieve that because short term goals are something which we will achieve in very short span of time with immediate res- response and feedback but what takes time you know what takes dedication and commitment is the long term goals right so let's see some benefits of goal setting 
just imagine if as we said you know if there are no goals in life if a person is without any dream any goal does he have any direction in life no goals give you direction and destination as oliver wendell has said the great thing in this world is not so much where we are but in what direction we are moving so setting a goal gives direction to your life let's see a beautiful story of michael jordan he you now he was rejected in the high school basketball team because he was too short after being told he would never play at professional level he trained even harder and visualized his name in professional locker locker room राइट right? उसे निकाल दिया कि आपकी हाइट कम है आप नहीं खेल सकते बट उसने क्या किया उसने लॉकर रूम जो प्रोफेशनल लॉकर रूम होता है अब उसे टीम में निकाल दिया तो लॉकर तो उसका है नहीं बट फिर भी उसने इमेजिन किया कि विजुलाइज किया कि मेरा नाम लिखा है लॉकर रूम पे राइट सो माइकल डेवलप द एटीट्यूड ऑफ पर्जिस्टेंस वेन एवर आई वॉज वर्किंग आउट एंड गॉट tired and i figured i ought to stop i would close my eyes and see that list in the locker room without my name on it and that usually got me going again right jo burning desire thi usko kuch cheez paane ki right usko wahan successful professionally hone ki that made him strive that made him struggle that made him progress hard now and then वो लगातार अपनी कोशिश करता ही रहा जब भी वो आंख बंद करके इमेजिन करता कि मेरा नाम नहीं है तब उसे लगता नहीं मुझ अबे अब और काम करना है इस चीज पे राइट सो इट डायरेक्टली सेज दैट इट गिव्स डायरेक्शन एंड डेस्टिनेशन टू योर लाइफ अनदर बेनिफिट इज फोकस ऑन व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट नाउ we all know who steve jobs he says that's been one of my mantras focus and simplicity simple can be harder than complex your goals give you clear focus on what you believe to be important in life right ab kisi bhi goal ko select karte pehle agar aapke liye wo important hai tabhi aap uska kuch planning kar rahe hai right the reason some people do not reach their goals is that they don't take it that seriously right or uh, they consider them as believable or achievable winners can tell you where they are going out what they plan to do and who will be sharing the adventure with them right they do not think that main ise attain kar paunga main ise achieve kar paunga right and that's why they never reach their goals so focusing is very important let's take a very beautiful again example of jk rowlings right she was a single mother relying on unemployment benefits to feed her family she continued writing her book finding it therapeutic and didn't give up ab kya hua unke sath was that she was rejected by 12 publishing houses before it was finally accepted right so she says if you never failed you would never tried anything new so despite numerous setbacks finally she found a publisher uh, to publish harry potter and the philosopher stone after the publisher's daughter started reading the book and she became entranced and then harry potter sold over 500 million books worldwide not to mention it's uh, i mean we cannot forget that she was the first female to become a billionaire author right so unless and until you will fail at something you won't focus towards that direction so focus is very much important she did not left it alone her idea her dreams she didn't she didn't stop there even after 12 rejection from 12 big publishing houses she kept on focusing on her dream third is clarity in decision making when you have set a goal they will help you in making better decisions in life 
because your goals are the road map right and they show you that yes this is achievable in life for you let's take it for walt disney he was a high school dropout bankrupt at age 22 after his second company failed after losing the rights of his first animated character oswald the lucky rabbit he started sketching an idea that would later become the beloved mickey mouse when he proposed this idea to disney world theme park many bankers laughed at him but he was determined and clear in decision making to not to give up right so out of many failures and setbacks we know that walt disney is a huge and tar holding disney franchise over theme parks merchandise and movie sectors right so walt disney rightly said that if you can dream it you can do it he did not lo- lose his hope right use mana kar diya fir bhi usne apne decisions ko change nahi kiya he was very clear benefits of goal setting number 4 it gives you control of your future right it says if you write down your goal then your 42% chances of achieving it becomes more clear more chances of achieving by writing down and the steps you plan to take reach those goals make you prioritize and be responsible for your own success and failures why do we write we write because there is some again rewiring of writing with the heart and the brain right when you write down you are yourself responsible for the success and for the failures right so go confidently in the direction of your dreams live the life you have imagined says david thoreau right now we'll see one story jim carrey the actor jim carrey in 1985 who wrote himself a 10 million dollar check for acting services rendered dated it 10 years in the future and kept it in his wallet he just kept it in his wallet In November 1995 he learned he was cast in the movie Dumb and Dumber and for what for 10 million dollars is it a coincidence no it is not a coincidence he wrote his goal on the paper and he himself says once i did this my life changed right he says i don't believe in hope hope is a beggar hope walks through the fire faith leaps over it right kyunki hum jab sirf bolte hain to wo jo shabd hai right wo sirf hawa mein hai ya hamare dil mein ya hamare mind mein hai jisko jiske erase hone ke chances zyada hai but agar usi cheez ko hum jab likh dete hain na to probability bad jati hai ki wahan hame success milna hi milna hai another benefit is provides motivation right now with the accomplishment of short term goals your long term goals will become more realistic and it will fuel your desire and give you hope jab aapke chote chote goals jab complete hote hai na tab aapko bahut acha lagta hai right ab maine aisa weight maine aisa goal banaya ki mujhe itna weight reduce karna hai right that's a long term goal but every day i'll have this much food i'll do this much dieting this much exercising aur wo jab short term goals mere achieve hone lagte hai na to automatic mujhe realistic hope milti hai ki yes now my weight is going to reduce aur ye ek example hai ye is cheez sari jagah pe relevant hai right so let's see thomas edison Thomas Edison was labeled stupid by his teachers yet at one point he held over 1000 patents for new inventions he is almost famous for inventing the light bulbs edison is also known for the quote you may not have reached every goal but that doesn't mean you should stop trying revise your goals choose what is most important for you in your business or life and take action steps towards those goals right he 
Now see the mindset. See the statement he has made. I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. मैं life में किसी जगह पे unsuccessful हूँ या मैंने कुछ achieve नहीं किया है. That doesn't mean I have failed in life. No. I have found some numerous ways that I can tell others. अरे भाई ये नहीं करना ये नहीं चलेगा. अरे जैसे मम्मा किचन में हो या किसी बच्चे का कोई कुछ एग्जाम हो या किसी का लाइफ का कुछ एग्जाम हो रिलेशनशिप्स में हो तो जब हम जहाँ फेल होते हैं ना हम दूसरों को आगाह कर देते हैं कि भाई ये मत करना यहाँ तो सक्सेस नहीं मिलने वाली है यहाँ पे मत जाना यहाँ पे तुझे ये नहीं मिलेगा राइट सो दैट मीन्स वी आर फाइंडिंग डिफरेंट वेज विच आर नॉट वर्किंग and we can tell it to others that yes please don't do it and we may ourselves also understand those facts benefits number 6 gives you sense of personal satisfaction goal setting is the principal tool for helping you reach your full potential there is so much god gifted to us right but we don't know that potential right so when you set your goals when your journey starts यू नो मंजिल से भी सफर खूबसूरत है सो दैट टाइम यू कम एंड रियलाइज योर पोटेंशियल राइट सो गोल सेटिंग गिवस यू अ सेंस ऑफ पर्सनल सेटिस्फेक्शन चिकन सूप फॉर द सोल रिटर्न बाय जैक कैनफील्ड एंड मार्क विक्टर हैंसन इट वॉज रिजेक्टेड बाय हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी पब्लिशर्स हु डिडेंट बिलीव इट वुड बी अ बेस्ट सेलर and eventually it sold more than 100 million copies and made them both rich and famous so you have to believe it's possible and you should believe in yourself because after you have decided what you want you have to believe it's possible and possible for you not just for other people right and in this process yes you may need some models mentors coaches teachers you have to go out and try to take that support for you right so this is a very beautiful example which says it gives you a sense of personal satisfaction kisi cheez ko hame agar koi mana kar deta hai ki aap ye nahi kar sakte ya ye nahi hogi to hame wahan rukna nahi hai right gives you sense of purpose your sense of purpose in life when goals go meaning goes if you don't have go goals there is no meaning when meaning goes then the purpose goes when purpose goes life goes dead on our hands jeeta jagta insaan bhi mar jata hai agar life mein goal nahi hai goal matlab meaning nahi hai meaning matlab nahi hai purpose nahi hai purpose nahi hai matlab life hi nahi hai so the goal setting process helps you identify your purpose in life and makes your life more meaningful if you have a goal in life that takes lot of energy that requires lot of work that includes great deal of interest and that is a challenge to you you'll always look forward to waking up to see what the new day brings right it's a famous quote by skulls and it says that every day is a new challenge for you and you have to be that positive that waking up you should see what today new the day the life has challenged that you right this are some beautiful quotes from our indian celebrities personalities and successful people right sachin tendulkar says people will throw stones at you and you convert them into milestones dhiruba ambani says remember no one can make you feel inferior without your consent If I allow myself to feel inferior, then yes, I'll feel inferior. Otherwise, no one can make me feel that. Even if someone is making me feel, and if I don't that, take that to me, right? When the intentions are not clear. Rajni Kant, don't regret the past, just learn from it. Ratan Tata, no one. none can destroy uh, none can destroy iron but its own rust can it's a very beautiful statement by him and it supports that 
लाइकवाइज नन कैन डिस्ट्रॉय अ पर्सन बट इज ओन माइंड सेट कैन राइट सो वेन एवर वी आर नॉट केपेबल ऑफ अचीविंग आर गोल और वी मे हैव सम ऑब्स्टेकल्स और सम हर्डल्स एंड वी मे स्टॉप इन द इंटरमीडिएट पार्ट देन वी शुड थिंक दैट दर इज नो एक्सटर्नल और इंटरनल फैक्टर्स वी आर सेल्स हैव लॉस समथिंग समवेयर विच वी नीड टू इम्प्रोवाइज एंड स्टार्ट मूविंग अहेड राइट मिल्खा सिंह से इज इफ दर इज नो स्ट्रगल दर इज नो प्रोग्रेस Indra Noi right CEO of PepsiCo in the middle of every difficulty lies an opportunity and the person who tries to see every difficulty as as some point of opportunity they will go through that difficulty very very easily right so this takes a lot of persistence patience and courage to realize all these things ए पी जी कलाम से इज वॉट एवर यू आर बी अ गुड वन नारायण मूर्ति इफ यू ड्रीम इट यू कैन डू इट यू टू शॉर्टेज ऑफ टाइम वी कुडेंट टेक द सक्सेस स्टोरीज ऑफ ऑल दिस पीपल बट येस दिस फैंटास्टिक मावलस पीपल हैव सो मच इन दर लाइफ हिस्ट्री टू से अस टू मोटिवेट अस टूवर्ड्स आर गोल सेटिंग राइट Mr Dhoni set the goal so big either it will scare you or excite you but make sure you finish it like ms dhoni right it means that the goals either are to be so big that they should scare and excite you right so you will strive hard to achieve it mr sachin don't stop chasing your dreams because your dreams do come true राइट वी हैव दैट फीलिंग ये ड्रीम होगा कि नहीं ये सपना मेरा पूरा होगा कि नहीं बट उस सपने के पीछे लगातार एक दौड़ एक रन एक कंसिस्टेंसी चाहिए अगर उसको अचीव करना है तो राइट नाउ देर आर सम रिसर्च एंड स्टडीज विच फैक्ट्स एंड फाइंडिंग्स आई एम जस्ट प्रेजेंटिंग यू द रीजन इज दैट that this shows that why goal setting is that much important right people who write down their goals are 20% more successful in accomplishing them than those who did not this are all research done by some great psychologist right those who set actionable task for their goals initiate weekly progress report to their supportive peers tend to achieve 40% more right if daily you are writing some weekly progress sharing it with your supportive peers maybe your parents your friends your teachers your mentors then yes there are 40% chances you may succeed in achieving your goal glow goal clarity has a direct influence on overall motivation in the workplace in professional life if your goal is clear then it has a direct influence on the overall motivation right goal setting is setting is very much important for academic improvement right <coughs> people are 10 times more likely to achieve new year's resolutions than those who don't make resolutions right there are very ch- less chances that yes the new year uh, the year end is coming and we all will strive on to make some yearly resolutions yeah right but only people are 10 times more likely to achieve at least those who are making they will achieve than those who are not making setting more challenging goals leads to achieving more and receiving feedback is a good motivator to goal success psychology says that there are different type of goals and when you set a challenging goal then there are chances that you may achieve success there 384 tests tests have shown that goal setting has a statistically significant effect on behavior if you say how behavior yes jab choti choti cheeze na choti choti moments chote goals jo hamare hote hain weekly ya daily basis pe jab wo accomplish hote hain na to we feel good when we feel good 
in the heart our emotions make our brain strong and our behavior is also coming that beautiful the relationships strive more beautifully that time right people who have a greater understanding of the goal purpose have more chances of accomplishing their plans jisko meaning or purpose life mein hai wo goal achhe se achieve kar sakta hai right and when you keep on setting goals yes in business and professional life you can be persistent in for getting success these are some famous young indians who have redefined their career goals nike founder mama earth founder the digital scholar founder freshworks founder swiggy founder flipkart founder ola caps founder this are 2021 statistics been shown here the oyo room founder the zomato founder the paytm founder these are thus history makers of india right and they have redefined their career goals a beautiful take away message which i want to share with you all friends goal setting increases happiness is that goals make you feel more optimistic about the future when you are optimistic you are happier healthier and more resilient and better able to cope any challenges in life right right so our honorable miss uh, prime minister says don't dream to be something but rather dream to do something great right it doesn't say that mujhe ye banna hai but wo banne mein wo banne mein jo dream hamara achieve hota hai na wo kuch great cheez jab bahar nikalti hai that is very very important right krishna says by making your goals in life clear your obstacles become less we are kept away from our goal not by obstacles but by a clear path to a lesser goal right so yes friends this was an amazing amazing experience for me uh to have a live talk with you people on goal setting and goal achievement and uh, towards the end of the year wish you all a uh, very very happy ahead let's say you know certain have some certain growth point in our life with and purpose of achieving good goals right so yes huma ji yes thank you ma'am it was so thank interesting you. it was so insightful it was and a few um, and like creative a few, ideas uh, said to you very useful like speech ideas, hardik hardik and hardik 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma first of all, it was very insightful and very, very knowledgeable about the goal setting. Uh, and really, yeah, the and topic what you what you like goal like setting demystify is really very really helpful. Very helpful. Yes, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for thank your value. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Take care. Take yeah. care. Take care. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.